At first glance, a lumbering sauropod was at a disadvantage, for size isn't everything. But that is where their tail comes in. Certainly it would have been useful as a weapon one way or another, whether they're attempting to whip it or simply club them over the head with it. Uh, anything that's flexible and weighs a lot and can transfer kinetic energy to your enemy is gonna come in handy in a pinch if you're being attacked. Although this may seem surprising, it is based on some revolutionary new science, science which we tested. So we've created a little experiment, sort of a half-scale tail, and it's going to swing and hit a jawbone, and we're going to see just what kind of damage it could do. And three, two, one. That completely exceeded my expectations. That jaw was devastated. Even at this low speed, it was clocked to be at about 85 miles an hour. The tail just completely exploded. At this speed, when the tail hits, it looks like a baseball bat hitting. The whole thing just kind of went like, just, just like that. I'm curious if you crank this thing up, I'm really curious to see if that is affected at all. Okay, everybody, behind the plexi. Set. And three, two, one. Significantly. Oh, all right. Let's play that back. You could really see the tail start to do the classic bullwhip action. It kind of curved and snapped out and then continued. And that, that transfer of energy just bam, right to the end of that tail. It only went 115 miles an hour, which is still a conservative estimate. This blowed up real good. 